Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel dashboards. All right, uh, it is March and in the U.S. college basketball, especially men's college basketball, they have a really large tournament um, that determines who's the overall college winner um, for the entire year. So. Uh, the college tournament that happens every March is just a big deal here in the U.S. and a lot of people like to uh, create brackets and see if they can pick every winner at every level. It starts out with 64 teams. Those 64 play each other and then they go to this round of 32. Ultimately they get down to 16 or 8. Um, then they have a final four that battle it out and then they have the ultimate championship. So uh, it's a big deal. Uh, a lot of gambling goes on with this as well. Um, but uh, I wanted to see, could I create this bracket system in an Excel chart uh, and wanted to know, is there any way that I could ultimately do that um, using an Excel chart? But I tried uh, with a column chart, tried with um, uh, scatter plots. It was just too difficult to really try and plot this and try and think of where every line should be and where every box should be. And uh, ultimately, I uh, kind of gave up on that and said, well, geez, there's, there's got to be a way we can do this in Excel. Now, ultimately, you could just go out into a spreadsheet and type in, uh, you know, the first seed in a cell and the 16th seed in a cell, and then the cell in between those and the next column is the winner, and you can make your whole bracket with an Excel that way. Uh, kind of a pain, but it certainly is it's doable. Uh, you can download this free Excel dashboard template on my website as well, where I've already gone ahead and done it for you. You just have to go in and fill in the names. Um, so this template could be used for years on end. Uh, you could even use it for other tournaments as well. Um, so we've got the West bracket, we've got the Midwest bracket, we've got the uh, East bracket, and the South bracket. Uh, also, we have the Final Four, so that uh, we have um, those different winners um, and the ultimate winner. Now, how did I go ahead go about creating these different charts? Um, let's go ahead and show you how I did this. Uh, this pretty cool tool that I did find in Excel. Um, you want to go up to your insert ribbon. From your insert ribbon in the illustrations, there's this uh, button here that says insert smart art graphic. We're going to click on that one, and this is where we want to do it. So there is in the fifth category down is hierarchy. Then over here, you'll notice these are usually used for organization charts in kind of a top-down fashion, the CEO at the top and executives and then all the way down to the workers. There is this horizontal hierarchy chart as well, um, our insert of uh, smart art graphic. This is what we're going to use for this, and it's a really cool uh, system that we can do. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now you can kind of see it's sort of created it for me already. However, my west bracket had 64 teams on the left and went down to a smaller amount on the right. Um, if you go up to your design ribbon, so first you have to click in your smart art, and then you'll see a design ribbon pop up. Then over in the create graphics section, you'll see right to left, and if I click on that, You'll notice the bigger categories um, are starting here going down to a single point on the right. If I toggle that with left to right again, uh, it goes smaller to bigger. So um, you can do it as you like. Now they've kind of given you a, a sample here. You don't need to do this, but you can either, um, you can toggle this text pane right here um, in the design ribbon. Uh, you can toggle it on and off and you can type your text right in here. So. Um, for instance, what we would do is we would say, okay, this is the first seed, um, and this is the 16th seed, um, and then ultimately they produce a winner uh, of 1 versus 16, um, and so on and so forth. You can also just type it directly into uh, the smart art um, text area that you have here. So um, let's say, I don't remember what this is, but let's say it's the 8th. Uh, seed um, versus the ninth seed and then ultimately you have the winner winner of eight versus nine um, but notice how, how do I create another one here well what you want to do is that's when you want this text pane open and you can just come in here and hit enter so I'm I've clicked on the eighth cell I hit enter and now I can type in my ninth one so every time you hit enter it's going to create more and more of these cells now, if you don't like the level of these, like notice what we have here is we have four of them going into winner of eight versus nine, when actually it's more like, say, fourth uh, versus twelfth. Not sure if that's exactly what it is, but I want these top two, eight and nine, to just be for this box, and I want to create another box 
uh, that is going to join the fourth versus twelfth winner. What I do is just go into my text pane again. Once again, if you've gotten rid of your text pane, you can go up to your design ribbon, go over and toggle the text pane on or off in the create graphics group. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and insert something in here. Let's try the insert key uh, and see what that does. It doesn't do anything. If I hit the enter key though, look at that, it added a blank in there. So now I have this blank, but it's not at the right level. I want it to be at the winner level. Um, and so what I want to do is do shift tab and it will move it up and promote it or you can demote it by hitting tab. So you just want to go like, let's say we wanted fourth to be at the front. I need to go to the very beginning of that cell and then do shift tab or just tab. And if I'm anywhere in between it, it might not promote it. Oh, it is doing it. Sometimes Excel doesn't let you do that very well. Um, but I want to do shift tab here. And then over in my smart art section, notice that we've got uh, where we can type in the winner of four uh, versus 12. Now, uh, once again, we've got our final out here. We don't, All of three of these teams can't play each other at the same time, so we need to do, once again, we need to break that up. So, uh, so in my text pane area, you'll notice that this is where I'm putting that final winner. So once again, we need to insert another row. So I'm just going to go over here to winner of 4 versus 12 and hit my Enter key. And then I'm going to promote it by doing Shift-Tab. So now I've broken it up and uh, you can continue to make all 64 of the different uh, groupings and, and make your entire chart, but uh, you can also just download it from my website if you intend to use this as your uh, college basketball bracket. But um, So you can kind of really see how we go about making this. Now, what you ultimately want to do is you want to think about this um, with the end in mind. So we would go in and count Let's see, we have like, uh, we go 64 to 32, that's one level. 32 to 16 is two levels. 16 to 8 is three levels. 8 to 4 is um, uh, four levels. And then 4 to 2 is five levels. And then ultimately we have one winner, which would be a sixth level. Um, so what I would want to do is I really want to come in here and make a bunch of different uh, uh, levels in here. And so this would be my final level. So this is the final four um, final four group for the West. Um, under that, I would have all of these different ones. I am just pushing my down arrow and hitting my tab key to move each one of these or demote each one of these levels um, to where I wanted it. Um, so I want to start with my end in mind and go to final four. Um, and then this would be, um, I think they call it uh, something like the Elite Eight. Um, and let's do Elite Eight. And we're going to tab all of these in once again. I'm just going to go all the way down since I kind of started with uh, uh, showing you how I was doing this. But um, ultimately what you'd want to do is just start right from the top. Start Final Four. Um, we ultimately have our Elite Eight. Then we have our Sweet uh, 16 in the bracket. And we're going to demote all of these yet again so that they get to the level that we want. Um, now, uh, let's see, so if you're first versus 16th, you're in the 64, and then this is going to be um, the round of 32. Okay, so you can see how you start to work that back in there and um, come up with um, the groups that you would make in your ultimate bracket. So I'm not going to show you how to make it all. Once again, you can download the brackets that I've already created for you. You can come in here and just change this to, say, Florida. Um, I think they're number one seed. Uh, Florida. You can do it right in there, or you can ultimately uh, go over into your brackets and do it as well and say my 16th seed was, uh, I don't know if this is right or not, but I'm going to say Villanova. Um, and you can just uh, do that as you will, create all of your brackets, and then as they change, you can update those um, and create create everything in your college basketball bracket uh, as you like. So hopefully you found this tip helpful. Uh, get out there and try SmartArt. So once again, it's under your Insert ribbon. Go to your SmartArt button, and you have lots of different choices of different things that you can ultimately do in SmartArt uh, that uh, Excel's already set up for you that just might work for you in what you need to do in Excel. Once again, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my video channel. Also, head on over to my blog where you're sure to see other great posts as well and different tips and tricks within Excel. Thank you.